Okay, we're going to go over baby photography. I've had many people request uh, that I edit a baby for you, so I'm editing my baby art, and uh, we're going to go from here. So, first things first, I'll just show you some of the images from this shoot. Now, I do find that it's all about exposure rather than editing, really, with babies. Uh, I guess that's with any style of photography, but I really believe, especially when it comes to babies. In fact, if you have a look at the histogram, some would say that I've overexposed this, and I even think for some of them that I could have gone a little bit further. So let's pick out the one that I want to edit, which is this one. And if you have a look at the histogram, it is actually further way, further way over onto the highlights, but I'd like to even raise the exposure a little bit more. So I'm going to raise that exposure up just a touch. And lower the highlights and lower the whites. And just bring those highlights back up a little bit. Okay, now what I'd like to do is just lighten the edges here with the adjustment brush on the exposure on 7, 0 0.76. And even make that a little bit bluer. And while I'm here, I'll just make that a little bit bluer as well, the overall colour and tint. Now you can do spot removal and all those kind of things here in Photoshop, but we're going to do that in Lightroom. But first of all, I'm just going to crop that to in the closer to his face. Okay, so I'm actually going to keep the aspect, because I don't mind that aspect, but I'm actually going to go in so that his eyes are on the rule of thirds. Okay. Just there. Okay, so now we'll take that into Photoshop. See you there. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. Now all I'd like to do firstly is have a look at this area around his eyes. I find it quite distracting. So with the 20 feather, I'm going to lasso around his eyes. And what I mean is, is these blue areas here. So I'm pressing shift to do two and then alt to remove. So that's another way of grabbing that area there. Okay, so I've got this area here. Now I'm just going to add an adjustment mask and I'm going to go to color balance actually and just add in some warmth there and some reds. And as you can see, I've kind of overdone it, but we can go back and erase that off using a brush. So if I reduce the opacity of that brush down and use a black brush and just brush it off the edges there. So here's a before and after. Now I'm going to select the background layer and control J to duplicate it and just grab the patch tool and patch off these little spots all over his skin. Little baby spots everywhere. And in his nose here. This little spot here. Okay. And he has got a spot around his eye there. Now that's not actually there. I don't know what that spot was, but it was a spot. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a hue saturation and pull out any other color but red. So I'm going to pull out magenta, click on his skin and it should bring up red too, which it has, and change the skin tone down a little, just make it slightly more yellow. Okay. 
Okay, now this gray area is kind of bugging me. So what I'm going to do is do a hue saturation on that. And I'll select out the color. First of all, I'll just grab the yellow. Click on this to see what it thinks it is. It's cyan. And I'll just desaturate that. Make it a slightly more blue to match his eyes. And I'll actually even... Um, the cyans. I'll just lighten it using the lightness tool. There we go. Okay, so here's a before and after. And I'll just erase that off on his eyes. I don't want his eyes affected by that. Okay, so now I might even add an S curve in. There we go. So actually, I'm decontrasting really. There we go. So I've lightened him up just a touch. Now I do need to still add a little bit more yellow into certain areas. So I'll just grab another feather. If you have a look in here, I mean, this has been really picky. Just like to add some yellow in there with color balance. And if I grab a white brush, I can even add that into here as well. Okay. So that's just added some skin tones back in there, made him nice and peachy, baby peachy. Okay, now I want to have a look at these curves and reduce that a little. Okay. Now I do want to add a little bit of a levels just to add in some depth there. Okay. Okay, so I know we already gave him a little bit of a crop, but I might just Crop again, just to get right in there on his little face. Now I know that I'm cropping out here. Okay, I think I prefer that. Crop. And that was a five by seven. And actually, we could just crop in a little bit more. Now, this is a fairly big crop for me. I don't tend to crop so much, but there we go. I think he looked better that close in. All right. Now, I do want to grab this background layer now and just add a little bit of a multiply. Now, I know that's crazy, but I just want to see what it does to the depth. There we go. I think I prefer that. But of course, I don't want that depth on his eyes. So I'm going to grab a mask and just a grab br black brush and just mask that off on his eyes. Okay, so now talking of his eyes, I actually look at this hat here. And I'm just going to grab this quite messily. And I wouldn't mind... Trying to bring in the detail. Again, you know, we could have gone with this file from the start, really, and had not much of a play at all. But to make it more interesting, I do tend to go a little overboard. Okay, so... Got his hat. And now I'm just going to fiddle with the colour and the depth using curves. So I want to add some depth into it and let's go and add the, some blue back in there to match his eyes a little. There we go. Okay, now even still, we could grab this again. But I go into selective color and go into neutrals. I don't want to play with the there we go. I wanted to play with the contrast. 
So I've gone in there and now I've brought out the detail here. So it's obvious that it's like a woolen beanie using the blacks on the neutrals. Okay. Alright, well that's the end. I hope you enjoyed this video.